Monica, I have a photo of my sister with her friend, which was taken during a school trip. I was wondering whether I could make some changes to make it look better. Mm, what kind of changes do you want to make in that photo? I want to adjust the color and increase the brightness as it looks too dark. Uh, well, you can easily do this using Photoshop, which allows you to control the brightness and color. Really? Please show me how to make the changes, Monica. Sure, Vicky. Let me show you how to do it. To improve the color, brightness and contrast of the school trip photograph, follow these steps. Open the schooltripphotograph.jpg file in Photoshop. Go to the image menu, select adjustments and click color balance. The color balance dialog box appears. The color balance dialog box allows you to adjust the color levels under the various color ranges such as shadows, mid-tones and highlights. Shadows is a color range present in every photo. It can be either the darkest areas or the areas which are bright and carry little light. Mid-tones show the colors that come between the two prominent colors in the photo. For example, if it is a black and white photo, gray color would be the mid-tones. Highlights are the lightest areas in a photo. Click the Shadows option and adjust color levels to Cyan 5, Magenta 6, Yellow 17. Click the Mid-Tones option and adjust color levels like this. Cyan 5, Magenta minus 3, Yellow minus 3. Click the Highlights option and adjust color levels cyan 2 magenta minus 2 yellow minus 5 click ok to apply the color balance effect to the photo after applying the color adjustments the final output appears to increase the brightness and to adjust the contrast in the photo follow these steps Go to the image menu, select adjustments and click brightness contrast. The brightness contrast dialog box appears. Brightness refers to the overall lightness or darkness of the image, while contrast is defined as the separation between the darkest and brightest areas of the image. Move the brightness slider to the right to increase the brightness. Move the contrast slider to the right to increase the contrast to distinguish the people in the photo from the objects in the background and click OK. After adjusting the brightness and contrast, the final output appears. Thank you Monica. Now the picture looks so beautiful. Photoshop is indeed a very useful tool. Yes Vicky, you can do so much with Photoshop. Monica, I have improved the photo's color balance, brightness and contrast. However, this pole is quite a distraction. Yes, Vicky, let's remove this pole from the photo. Really? Can we remove this pole from the photo? Yes, Vicky, let me show you how. The Clone Stamp Tool helps to remove defects and unwanted image parts or duplicate parts of an image. It copies the pixels from a source area that you click on, thereby establishing a sample point. You then paint over the target area to duplicate the copied source. To remove the pole from the photo, follow these steps. From the Tools panel, Select the Clone Stamp tool. In the Options bar, clear the Aligned checkbox. This ensures that even if you release the mouse button while painting over the target, the source's copied pixels are retained in memory. Place the mouse cursor over the area or source you want to clone. Here we want to remove the pole, so we clone the surroundings of the pole. 
Click in the source area while holding down Alt to set a sample point. The pointer changes to a crosshair. Release the Alt key. Click on the area to be cloned. Repeat these steps to clone different surroundings and remove the pole. For this, you have to use different surroundings like sky, shrubs or roads. The Healing Brush tool functions similarly to the Clone Stamp tool, allowing you to repair imperfections by painting over them with sampled pixels. However, the Healing Brush tool also copies the texture, lighting and shading of the source's sampled pixels. From the Tools panel, select the Healing Brush tool. In the Options bar, clear the Aligned checkbox. This ensures that even if you release the mouse button while painting over the target, the source's copied pixels are retained in memory. Place the mouse cursor near the date and timestamp and click once while holding down Alt. Release Alt and drag the pointer over the date and timestamp. Repeat these steps till the date and timestamp is completely removed. Thanks, Monica. You have been such a help. My pleasure, Vicky. And thanks, Photoshop CC2.